Hi everyone! Okay, so we're going to be doing a problem out of the James Stewart Calculus book. It's from section 7.6 and it's number 63. So the problem looks like this. It's the integral of 1 plus x over 1 plus x squared dx. So I'll let you guys take a look at that. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to break up this integral into two integrals to make it easier on us. So um, it's a strategy that um, you kind of learn in calculus. So, um, so we're going to take 1 over 1 plus x squared. So that's going to be our first integral. And then we're going to do x over 1 plus x squared. Now we can break these up because we're breaking up the numerator which has an addition sign so whenever you have an addition you can break that numerator up because they share the same denominator. So our new integral is going to look like 1 over 1 plus x squared dx plus our second part which is going to be 1 I mean x we, we already took the 1 x over 1 plus x squared dx so I'm just going to kind of simplify this up a little bit for you guys. So I'm just going to make multiply the dx over onto the top of the first integral and then just leave the second integral the same. So that's your simplified integral to start working on this problem. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do u substitution and um, you're going to want to pick 1 plus x squared as your u substitution because both of the integrals have them. So um, u equals 1 plus x squared. And then we're going to want to get the derivative. So du equals the derivative of 1 is 0 plus the derivative of x squared is 2x. And then we put the dx at the end because we're implicitly differentiating. Now we're going to want to bring this 2 over because we don't see any 2's in our integrals. So it's going to be du over 2 equals x dx. So now we're going to want to kind of plug in our u's in our integrals and simplify it out for us. So the first equation is going to be the same because we don't have any x in here to, to substitute out. So it's just going to be dx plus 1 plus x squared. And then our second integral, we do have that x and we do have that dx, so we can substitute the du into it. And since we have this 1 half, we'll bring that out to the front of the integral, and then it'll be du, and this is u, because we, that's what we use for our substitution, over u. So that's what our new integral looks like. And now, um, if you guys remember, the integral of du over u equals the natural log absolute value u plus c. And that's just something that you learn in your calculus class. Um, so the next step we're going to take is we obviously see we have that du over u, so we know that that's going to be that. If you look at this integral, it also, I mean, if we bring out that dx and just do 1 over 1, one plus x squared dx, this looks very familiar to arctangent, right? So we know that this is going to be arctangent when we get the integral of them. So let's do that. So this is going to be arctangent. And we know that the integral of this is ln absolute value u. So let's do that. Don't forget to bring that 1 half down. And then it's ln absolute value u. And don't forget your constant since this is an indefinite integral. Okay, so now we just have to fill in our u and from before our u is 1 plus x squared. Now we kind of can drop these uh, absolute values because no matter what number or value we plug into x squared, it, whether it's negative or positive, it's always going to be positive. So we don't really need these absolute value bars to make it positive. So our final answer is going to be arctangent plus 1 half natural log of 1 plus x squared plus C. So that's going to be your final answer.